Your IP address provides an identity to your network devices, so what does it reveal about you? Just think about the fun things you do online. Diving into movies you love. Shopping. Enjoying free Wi-Fi with your morning coffee. Wait, who's that chap? Meet the digital snooper. It can be your internet service provider peeking at what you do online, or a cyber criminal on a mission to steal your credit card information or a lurker at the next table trying to steal your sensitive data. But fear not, NordVPN keeps all the snoopers away. It makes your internet activity private, protects you from accessing dangerous websites, and lets you enjoy your favorite content securely, even while away from home. The best part, it's just a click away. Amazing. Internet security is that easy. Go to nordvpn.com forward slash Mark Felton and get an exclusive deal. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. That's nordvpn.com forward slash Mark Felton. This small room doesn't look like much, but it was the third holiest place in the Nazi world. The first place of pilgrimage for the faithful NSDAP members was the so-called City of the Movement, Munich where the party had its origins as the German Workers' Party in 1919, the party that Lance Corporal Adolf Hitler, sent by Munich Army Headquarters to spy on that same year, subsequently joined and changed into the National Socialist German Workers' Party, becoming its leader soon after. The second most important place of pilgrimage for the Nazi faithful was the city of the party rallies, Nuremberg with its huge number of Nazi buildings used in the 1930s to dramatic effect to demonstrate the power and spectacle of the movement to Germany and the wider world. And finally, the third place of pilgrimage, the city of the Führer, or Hitler city as it was known, Landsberg, and its famous prison where Hitler had done time following his failed attempt to overthrow the Bavarian government in the 1923 Bierhul Putsch. By 1938, Around 100,000 Nazi pilgrims per year visited Landsberg, with most also visiting this tiny room at Landsberg Prison, cell number 7, where Hitler had been incarcerated for 264 days in 1923-24, to and where he had dictated his political manifesto, Mein Kampf, to his secretary Rudolf Hess, the book that had become the Holy Bible of the Nazi movement. The little cell had been carefully preserved by the prison authorities after Hitler came to power, who had turned it into a quasi-religious shrine to the personality cult of Adolf Hitler. In late 1923, Hitler and his movement had attempted to overthrow the government of the state of Bavaria following years of economic misery and political turmoil following Germany's defeat in World War I in 1918. The NSDAP had absorbed many of the violent Freikorps units of disaffected nationalist and anti-communist ex-imperial soldiers. The Nazi private army, the SA, the Sturmabteilung, or brown shirts, numbering some 15,000 men. Hitler had the support of respected World War I general Erich Ludendorff and other establishment figures, and sought direct action against the Munich government of Gustav Ritter von Kahr. Hoping to emulate Benito Mussolini's famous 1922 March on Rome that had brought the Italian fascist leader to power, Hitler organized his men and attempted a coup on the 8th to 9th of November 1923. Some 2,000 Nazis marching to the Feldherrenhalle, or Bavarian Honor Hall of the army, in the centre of Munich, while others seized or attempted to seize government buildings. However, the coup collapsed when the government deployed police and troops on the streets, culminating in police opening fire on Hitler and his marchers, Hitler narrowly avoiding being killed. The man next to Hitler, walking arm in arm with him, was killed instantly, his falling body dragging Hitler down, dislocating his shoulder. Altogether, 16 Nazi party members died, as well as four Munich policemen killed by return fire. Hitler was subsequently arrested and following a trial where he was permitted by the judges to make some widely publicized speeches that gave his movement huge publicity. He was sentenced to five years in Landsberg prison, though in the event he would serve only nine months. 
Imprisoned alongside him were several important early Nazi Party personalities, including Rudolf Hess and Emil Morris, not to mention General Ludendorff. The prisoners were accorded great privileges in Landsberg, having several cells to themselves left largely unlocked. They were given good food and had many visitors. Hitler devoted his energies to producing Mein Kampf, which came into being in cell number 7, explaining the room's later importance as a Nazi shrine. After he came to power in 1933, Hitler revisited his old cell on several occasions. He was photographed in the same position at the cell window in 1934 as he had assumed a decade earlier. And he came again in 1937 to show Nazi filmmaker Leni Riefenstahl where he had been imprisoned. In the meantime, Landsberg was transformed into the third Nazi pilgrimage centre with a special emphasis on the young. It became the spiritual home of the Hitler Youth, also labelled the Town of Youth, and Hitler Youth from all over Germany made pilgrimages to the city and took part in large rallies presided over by Hitler Youth leader Balder von Schirach. Zum Abschluss eures Marsches hierher gekommen. Warum fließt dieser gewaltige Bekenntnismarsch des jungen Deutschlands in Landsberg? Above the door to Hitler's old cell, a plaque was installed, giving the dates of his incarceration, while inside the simple room, it was outfitted with a large portrait of the Führer, and a special Nazi party flag hung on the wall beside it. Though pre-war plans had existed to transform the prison into a massive Hitler Youth hostel, the exigencies of war meant that it instead held numerous political prisoners for the duration, and 210 died as a result of mistreatment or execution. On the 27th to 28th of April 1945, US forces captured Landsberg and its prison. Here we see GIs in Hitler's old cell, captured intact and still dressed up as a shrine. A captured warder points out Hitler's signature in the special guest book. and above the small desk a portrait of Hitler hangs alongside a swastika flag. I should imagine the flag was soon pocketed as a souvenir shortly after this piece of film was shot. After the war, Landsberg prison became war crimes prison number one, and over a period of five and a half years, 259 death sentences were carried out by hanging and 29 by firing squad of convicted Nazi war criminals. Today, Landsberg Prison remains a correctional facility for the state of Bavaria, though Hitler's old cell has been remodelled to eradicate it from the building. Famous collector Kevin Wheatcroft has the original cell door in his enormous collection in the UK. A bronze plaque that used to hang inside Landsberg Prison explaining about its most famous prisoner was taken by US forces and is now on display at Kentucky Military History Museum. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.